Everything you see on the screen right now was built by ChatGPT. All this code, this output, everything was done by ChatGPT. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I use ChatGPT to build a very basic weather app in Django in minutes. So let's get straight into that. So what we're going to be doing in this video is to use ChatGPT to build a weather app in Django. So I'm not actually going to be doing any coding by myself. I'm just going to tell ChatGPT that I want to build a simple weather app where a user can come and search for a particular location and they're going to get the current weather situation in that particular location. And I'm going to tell you to use an API and this is the API I'm going to tell you to use open weather map. That's the name of the API. So I already have my API key here ready. So I'm just going to tell chat GPT that and let's see what it does. So I'm going to say, help me build a weather app in Django using the open, what's the name again? Open weather map API. Now let's see what it does. So it gives us like a step to follow. So it says start by setting up a new Django project, you know, giving us all the commands we need to run, which is good. But normally I'm pretty sure it's going to give us like an outline of what we should do. It's not actually going to go in depth in like providing all the code that we actually need. But what I'm going to do is to, you know, take all the steps that it's giving us. For example, it gave us the code for step one, which is really good because we have that. And step two, it says we need to sign up for this. And this is pretty good because initially when using um, chat GPT, it gives me like an outline of step one, do this and step two, do this. But in this case, it's actually giving me like every single code that I need, you know, for this particular application. So I'm just going to, it also gives us the HTML, which is quite good. Tells us everything we need to do. So I'm just going to use all this that is giving us and I'm going to input it in Reply. So Reply is like this online IDE or this online code editor. And I can also run Django using Reply. So um, if I don't want to like start setting up a new project on my computer and all of that, I could just use Reply. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is quite good. As you can see, it says that's it. Um, this is great. So I'm just going to wait for it to finish. Good. So it gave us all the steps and everything that we need to do. Great. Now let's just follow these steps and see. So it says we should do this to run all the project um, or to start a new project. Or since I'm using Reply, so you can just go to Reply.com. Let me just show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to click on create and I'm going to search Django. This video is not sponsored, by the way. I just find using Reply quite comfortable. So I'm just going to set Django and click on Django and I could just say the title is, let's see what title it says. It says use my project. Normally we should use like my app or I mean my weather app or my weather project or something like that. But let's just use my project and then let's create repo. So that is done. And if you know Django, you, of course, you're going to know the boilerplate that Django is going to generate. So I'm going to wait a second for Django to generate that. Good. So we have all of this. We want to close this file. Now that we have that Django project done, what I'm going to do is to, it says we should run Python manager py start app. So we need a Django app. So I'm going to go into the shell. I'm just going to run that basically. And I want to use Python 3. So I'm going to say Python 3 manager py start app my app. So let's see if we have that done. So let's say ls and my manager.py and let's start up python manage.py start up my app you say set up a secret key in environment variable tab okay so let's see that so it says we need this okay cool so we're just gonna come in here and let's see if we have the environment variable tab. Let's go to settings in the project. And let's try to set up that. Okay, cool. So this is the secret key for this particular project. So um, it wants us to actually set up our own secret key. What I could just do is I could let me copy this line and paste it. I could comment this line out 
and i could just say the secret keys let me just give you something random because this secret key is just like a key that no one is meant to see but obviously this is just a demo project i'm building so i could just give you a random secret key and that's the secret key for this project and it should save that automatically now if i try to create the app again let's see good so now that has been created if i come back in here you can see that i have this app now named my app so i mean that is working successfully so one thing you also need to know is even if you're using chat gpt it's good to you know have a um a knowledge of what you're building so what i see this as is i see this as an assistant that can help me build this but if you have no knowledge on django or whatever framework you wanted to help you with of course you're still going to get stuck but the good thing also is if you get stuck you could just easily come here and ask it and tell it what you're stuck with like where it says the environment stuff i could just come here and paste it and saying i'm facing this error help me solve it which is quite good so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just come in here and i'm gonna it says we need to sign up and get a api key and in here already signed up if you go to openweathermap.org once you sign up and comes into slash api keys we are going to have this api key good we have that done and what i'm just going to do once you have your api key you can make http request yeah good and in your django app we want to create a new file called views.py this is where we will define uh, so basically i'm going to copy this code come in here and let's see set the app so in views.py it says we should paste that code in there I'm just going to paste this code and I'm going to get rid of this. Good. So this is all we need. And um, what I'm just going to do where it says your API key, I'm going to replace that with my actual API key. I'm going to deactivate this key after creating this video. So don't try to use it. Um, so your API key, I'm just going to paste that in there. And good. So we, basically we can use open map, open with them up now to get requests from you know whatever and what i'm gonna do since we already have that it says this is where you define the funk views here yeah? in this yeah you, okay cool and then we created a view named weather cool so now what you want to do is to let's say it says next step create a template view template for your view okay so it wants us to create a weather.html template so i'm just you know going through this quickly because i uh, you should have an understanding of django if you know you're following this video or if you don't have an understanding you can just watch it for your entertainment but cool so what we're just doing is we're creating it says we should create a template and the template is like my html file where i want to show like all the response because all of this now is just the backend code there's no way we can show this to an actual user so we want to create a template so one thing it didn't tell us is that let's see did it tell us that it didn't tell us how to create that template so um in django whenever you're creating template you need to so i'm just gonna collapse this and collapse this you need to have a file a folder named templates so that is something it didn't tell us and just gonna create new folder not in here i'm gonna create it in the default folder i'm just gonna say let's see i don't want to create it here i want to create it yeah so if i say new folder i'm just gonna say template so now in this template folder, I want to create a new file named weather.html. Good. So now it says we should paste this in the weather.html file. Good. And once we have that pasted, it should work. But before it works, let's first finish everything that it says we should do. So it says we also need to create a URL for the weather view. So it says I should open my Django app and in my Django app create this new view for weather. So I'm gonna come into the app, which is my app, and I actually need to create urls.py and I'm gonna paste that code in there. Done. And finally, you yeah. So what we also need to do is to go into the URLs in the project and we need to paste this. So let's go into the URLs in the project file. I'm just gonna come into Django project urls so instead of just pasting it over this i'm just going to see what it changed it gave us this and i'm going to come back in here and put that good so we also need to import include 
so i did this myself but so that's include but let me see if yeah it says import include which is good so that error was on my path so it says everything is done but now let's run it and see if everything is actually done i'm gonna run this and let's see so it says we're doing all it needs to do i'm gonna open up the tools okay cool so it should run it on like a port and it should give us that port link where it's running it on so let's see what it does okay yeah so now it's gonna run that and good so let's see cool so it gives us an error and the error it's saying is that the jungle project it tries this url okay okay cool so what we want to want to go to cool so we want to come into the U the urls right and what it's trying to tell us is that um it's just trying to go to the home page but like there's no there's not an home page so that's what chat gpt didn't tell us so let's fix that so what we want to do is to come into you know the urls in my app and in these urls we're just gonna come in here let's say this should be like the home page and then we have to come into the urls in here also and change that to the home page now that should work let's see let's refresh the page it should give us a different error cool it gives us template does not exist so this is also something that that chat gpt did not do so instead of actually trying to solve this myself let me give chat gpt and tell it that i have this error it should solve it for me but let me explain what this error is so what this error is is that it says template does not exist so it, if we come into the views if i come into the project now the app and i come into the views so we try to use this weather.html right as a view to return this particular template but whenever you're using templates you need to specify in the settings that whenever we're trying to fetch an html file it needs to go into this template file to fetch it but we didn't do that we didn't tell django that and chat dbt failed to tell us to do that so now let's tell it that we have this error and let's see what it did so we'll say I'm facing this error. I'm just gonna paste that. What should I do? So let's see what it tells us. It says the template does not exist. Okay, in the case that Django is unable to find the template, yeah, which is what I said a while ago. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So what he's trying to do is saying that. The reason why Django is not finding that template is because we didn't spell it right. Let's see if we spelled it right. Exactly, this is what I'm waiting for. So it says you can also check template settings in your project. So we're meant to, you know, set template in our in our settings file. This is what I want it to give us, which is very good. Once it gives us this, I think we, we shouldn't be facing any error again. But let's see that. Let's see. Yeah, this is what we need. This dares. So I'm going to come in here and first of all, let me make sure that we spell everything correctly. W-E-A-T-H-E-R. Good. We come in here, W-E-A-T-H-E-R. So what we need to do is to go into the settings. And as it says, where we see, if I come down here where I see templates, this there's is blank. We are going to tell Django that whenever we want to get a template file, go into this directory, which is this template directory. Why am I going to tell it that? Chat GPT told me what to do. So this is what we need to change. We need to put this. You also see why I say you need to have a basic knowledge of whatever framework you're using. Because if you don't, it's going to be hard to even get your head around it. Even if you're using ChatGPT. So I'm just going to paste that in there. Now that that is pasted, let's hit refresh and let's see what it does now. So. It still says it doesn't exist. Which it shouldn't, it shouldn't be the case. It's whether the html so let's see okay so it shouldn't be my app slash templates because i didn't put it in you know template i didn't put it under my app i just put in template so let's see what it does after changing that 
as you can see everything work so what the error that just came up with is because i did my app slash templates and that was because it went into this my app folder and started looking for template folder but there's nothing there but if i just do template it's going to come into the base directory look for template and boom you can see that it gives us this in london so if i come back into my views in here so where is that this views you can see that we told you to look for the current you know weather situation in london right here as you can see so as you can see it says weather in london and it gives us this weather that is because we specified london in here you could specify or you could write whatever city you want so as you can see we built this in order like a few minutes because of the help of chat gpt this is actually good and you know quite powerful and if you have a, a basic knowledge or good knowledge of whatever framework you're using initially it's going to be easy for you to make effective use of this this tool and this is quite you know impressive so that is all and i hope you enjoyed this video you could try this out yourself just go to chat.openai.com slash chat you'll see how to use it and yeah thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one